to get some Halloween type weather. I know we've been kind of sitting in this summer like pattern. The cooler stuff is on the way uh, as that works here. We're going to see this uh, little disturbance come in tonight. That's given us those sprinkles. Now that's going to exit tonight and break up the clouds and tomorrow we're going to keep the heat going. So we're not quite done with these warm temperatures just yet. We have 75 Greensburg, Pittsburgh, 74 for Beaver, Washington, Newcastle, 73 and Butler. And when you look at the, the weather here, you're going to notice that the clouds are starting to break up, and this is a trend that is expected to continue this evening. So we're going to get more of these uh, breaks in the clouds. You can even see a little sunbeam trying to hit Pittsburgh there, but the breaks are starting to show up. And again, this is going to be a trend over the next couple of hours. We'll go from mostly cloudy to partly cloudy. That means clouds here and there for tonight. Temperatures by midnight down to the mid to upper 60s, so still warm at this point. We're going to keep these warm temperatures going. Tonight's lows. Mid to upper 50s in most cases, 59 for Pittsburgh. Normal is 45. So certainly a warm start to the day tomorrow and a warm finish as those temperatures get right back into the mid 70s. For most cases, upper 60s into the ridges, but these temperatures are staying warm here for the next couple of days. The next few days, though, uh, once we get into the weekend, are going to certainly feel like fall. So mid to upper 70s through Friday, into the weekend and start of next week. Those temperatures take a big hit. We're talking low to mid 60s, which is pretty close to where they should be for this time of year. The big picture shows that we have this little disturbance coming through right now that's kicking up these clouds. That's going to continue to move on and the next batch of rain is actually going to start to move in Friday night and Saturday. That's where our, our rain chances start to ramp up the most and then they fall off Saturday night to more of an isolated occurrence and then into the beginning of next week. I think we're looking for some much drier conditions to win out. So futurecast here isn't going to be too busy. We have uh, clouds. I think these sprinkles will be done by midnight, so those are gone into tomorrow. We're looking for a nice mixture of sun and clouds in spite of these sprinkles that that futurecast is still trying to hold on to Thursday. Same deal. Sunshine and a few clouds mixed in, although the latest run that just came in with futurecast does show these sprinkles. I don't think we have to worry too much about that. There's not uh, a lot of ingredients to help pull those off, so we'll look for some drier conditions overall tonight. 59 degrees that evening sprinkles finishing up then partly cloudy skies went out tomorrow. We're going to find our temperatures right back into the mid 70s and that'll be the same deal on Thursday with a nice sun cloud mixture both days. Some afternoon to evening showers on Friday. Saturday is our best shot for rain. That'll start to uh, spread out, become isolated as the day progresses and then we're back into sunshine Sunday, Monday and Tuesday and we're back into some fall weather from the weekend into the start of next week. As you can see, those 60s are sticking with us.